What's up everybody, welcome back to another video where I have stocked up on thousands of thousands of dollars of fillers and low float collection items. Today, we're gonna to be trying to start from the very bottom in the industrial category and crafting our way up mil spec, restricted, classified, and hopefully covert. In the CS scene, we call this chaining trade-ups. And this isn't just any regular chain-up challenge. Because all of these items are ridiculously low flow, we're going to be going new world number one coverts from the new collections. Hopefully, we are able to create the low float items needed for the number one or CMYK. But given that we have both other collections here, we can also get the Fade or the Be The Monster. Let's dive just straight into this without any delay. If we use three items from the new collections, that should give us around slightly under a 50%, but still is roughly about a 50-50. So let's get our first contract out the way. All starts at this level, we need to hit some cool skins. Three, two, one, kaboom. Oh, we don't want the train collection. I think I'm gonna be increasing this to four items from the new collection, because then we get a 60-40, and that sounds better to me. Second contract up, let's do it. Show me a new collection. Okay, sport and field collection. What's the flow? Yeah, we'll take it, we'll take it. Let's go for a ridiculously low flow contract. Fillers I'm putting into this one are not cheap. These are the lowest industrials I could find. Everything here has at least four zeros. So I'm really hoping this hits. If it does, I figure it might be a new world number one. Let's find out. Three, two, one, please hit. Oh, nice, the Nova Worst Holler. Ooh, four zeros, two oh, two oh, two. I didn't plan that one, I promise. Oh, it's not the number one. It is in fact the number two, but that's fine. It means we can just chuck it in a trade up. Three, two, one, go. Okay, and again. Oh, and again. Oh, train. This time the 60% is coming through. Oh no, it's not. Three 40% in a row is painful. Let's not make it four. Four. It can't be five, right? Okay, that's good. We need more of those new collection low floats. Not the train. Another one. Okay, teal graph. Uh, another one. Okay. This time we got random item in from the 2021 Vertigo. Let's see if that hits. Oh, I almost knew that that would hit. New collection. Unfortunately, I think so far we've got quite unlucky with these. No more train. Oh, ho, ho. It is pretty rough seeing so many trains, but the graphic design collection I'll happily take. That is primarily the collection that we're after. Let's go. And this is our final industrial contract. We've only got two items in this time, not four, so pretty pathetic odds. I'm figuring we're probably going to see the train collection. Definitely didn't get as lucky as we should have. This should be like a 60-40. Out of 18 contracts, we hit eight of them. Statistically, we should have been hitting more. Let's move on to our mill spec trade-offs. These should give us slightly better odds because we're gonna use acid fades or mill spec items in with only one collection above. So if we put two skins in from a new collection, for example, that actually gives us a little under 45% here at hitting something decent, a little over 50% for the night show. I actually think we might go for three and that would give us the majority, a 66.25%. This is what our first contract is gonna look like. We have the Amber Fade in, one of our failed industrial contracts because it's nice low float. I think I can use these fillers as well. Nothing but graphic design collection. So we're hoping to see a restricted in low float three. Two, one, kaboom. Oh no, the amber fade hit. That's really sad. For this next contract, we're gonna try and create a world number one. We're gonna use this rank number three, Alpine Camo, this rank number two, the one we just created, Nova, and then this rank number one, Teal Graph. Very low float, expensive number ones going into this contract. I would love for this to hit because I think it would be a new world number one. We've got the Overbus collection in here and the Sport and Field. Unfortunately, no graphics that were super low float. We weren't able to create any of those in the industrials, but we might be able to create an incredible restrictive right now. Let's count it down. Three, 
two, one. New collection. Oh, let's go. That's got to be the number one, right? It's got to be low enough low. What are we saying? Ooh, five zeros. And moment of truth. Yes, there it is. Rank number one. I don't know if we can trade this guy up. He's just too low float. The number two, which is the closest, is lacking an entire zero compared to ours. I think, I think I might be holding on to this one. Another mil spec contract. Show me a decent restricted. Nice. Let's keep him flowing. This time, I got a little P2000 chainmail in. We could hit a chalice from it. Very low chances. But ultimately, we'd like some of these new collections. Three, two, one, new collection. Oh, the train again. No nitro, please. <laughs> Another attempt. Graphic design. No train collection. Pretty please. <sighs> you hate to see it. Slightly lower odds this time, but fingers crossed. Only one item in this time. Let's see if we can hit it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. This time, two items in, but they are quad zeros. Everything in this contract is quad zero. It would be amazing to see a new collection. Our final mil spec trade up. Let's get it. Oh, nice! The sweet little angels. Let's have a look at the flow. Ooh, four zeros and a six. Rank number three. And the slalom we created, also rank number three. Now we are left with... The restricted. It's getting scary. We're gonna try and make these a 50-50 because the low flow amber fades or emerald pinstripes are just way too expensive. We're hoping to hit that small view collection. Rainbow Spoon or Glock Axia. 50, 50, we could also hit arms D2. Whatever comes out of that should still be an acceptable flow to use in future contracts, but hey, new collection, that's what we're after. Three, two, one. Oh no, that's the absolute worst. It's the worst thing we could get. This should also be a nice low flow if it hits possibly. A world number one, we're putting in all of our restricteds that we were super lucky to hit in the mil spec section of this video. So if these get eaten up, I'm gonna be a little demotivated, I'm not gonna lie. And it's slightly less, unfortunately, than a 50-50. We can hit the 2018 Inferno or Nuke collection to that would not be very good. But we're not going to. We're gonna hit a new collection. Hopefully it's gonna be a new world number one. Let's go. Three, two, one, kaboom. Oh, ho, ho. that is very, very nice. It's not the best collection we could have hit, but it's a new collection nonetheless. Let's have a look at the flow. Ooh, I don't think that's a new world number one, but four zeros and a nine, we're happy with that. Penultimate restricted trade up. It's time. It's time to see that sport and field collection once again. Three, two, one. Oh, another Glock. Final restricted contract. I would love to hit that overpass 2024 collection. We have way too many sport and fields right now. We also have opportunities in the graphic collection, so let's get it. Oh, graphic collection. It's not going to be amazing float because the items weren't the best. Ooh, three zeros and a five is still usable. And that is actually the world's number one Orc Little Pig that we just created. Happy days. A bunch of number ones created already in this video. Now it's time <laughs> for our final contracts. I was checking my trade offers the other day and I got one from Amon Lion saying, Hunt the number one fade, love you. And he sent me a very low float rainbow spoon. So I had to go to his profile and ask him if he was giving me this for free. And he responded on my profile saying, yes, for free. So this contract is gonna be dedicated to you, Mr. Amon Lion, saying thank you very much for your kindness and generosity. And if I hit this number one M4A1S fade, I'm gonna give it to you. I can't trade it for a year, but after a year, I promise you'll be getting it. The contract is gonna look a little something like this. It's only going to be an 11.11% .11 at the number one fade. According to my rough calculation, if we do hit it, it's going to be 999 float with five zeros. Obviously only an 11.11% .11 because we couldn't get the 20% because the cold bloodeds in low float would be way, way too expensive. So we've got random fillers still in very low float and these probably cost me 
around $100 each compared to the Cold Blooded, which would cost me about $1,000 each. Not worth it for the extra 9% chance. Our first attempt, New World number 1 M4 A1S Fade New Collections. I'm on. If I hit it, it is yours. I'm hoping we do hit it for the 10%. It would be unbelievably epic. Three, two, one. Fade. Oh, it's the AK-47 Legion of Anubis. That is sad. It's a funny looking fade, isn't it? I'm sorry, Amon. I tried, I tried, and I failed. Let's try that one more time. Another 11.11%. Three, two, one, fade! Oh. Wrong type of M4, I'm afraid. The in living color, it's definitely not the number one. Another attempt, another session of destroying some of the lowest flow classified skins in the whole game. Amon, my offer still stands. If I hit this, it's all yours. This will be our final attempt at the M4A1S fade. For today, of course. Maybe we'll try it again in the future. Three. Two, one. World number one, fade. No, wrong M4 yet again. Three ten percents failed in a row. You hate to see it. Our chain up challenge has at this stage officially failed. However, I've got one trick still up my sleeve. We are going to completely change up. <laughs> this video it actually has the potential to be insane for our final contract i managed to get my hands on a glock axia with four zeros and a five two i'm mixing them all in here with the five zero fillers however i don't know if you've noticed this guy this is a knight i bought for I think around ten thousand dollars, it's four zeros and a three eight. Unfortunately, it's slightly too high to use in my final number one Dragon Law trade up contract video. However, if we put it in this contract, we're gonna have a five percent at the new number one Dragon Law. It would just be so unbelievably random. I feel like it's kind of perfect. Five percent new M4A1S fade. How many zeros is that? Six zeros. <laughs> Six zeros if we hit the fade. We could also hit the number one D-Law with five zeros and an eight one for five percent. Very spur of the moment thing. That'll probably end up regretting, but I do it all for the content. All for you guys. So now is the time. Join with me as we envision the number one Dragon Law for 5%. Oh, it looks good. It looks so good. Count it down with me. Three, two, one. Number one fade or number one Dragon Law. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that could have been the number one Dragon Law. That could have been the number one fade. That could have been the number one Dragon Law. That is gutting. No 10% coming in for us today. The Neon Revolution with five zeros and a nine. That is the number one AK-47 Neon Revolution we just created. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this chain up, trade up challenge. We really YOLO'd it there at the end with the night. Ginormous financial loss. If you enjoyed the video, slap that like button. Stay tuned for loads of crazy contracts coming up, including the number one Dragon Law. That's currently at 80%, so it's looking pretty good. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.